in this small rural mountain town. They are celebrating a summer festival. Relatives who left the town look forward to returning home for the annual event. For the people who have lived here, there's a cherished dish that's essential to the celebration. Let's look through the kitchen window and follow her story. Minami Aizu Town in Fukushima Prefecture is located about 200 kilometers north of Tokyo. Cradled by mountains, it is a quiet town with a population of around 14,000. In town, there is a well-established fish shop. The shop is run by Akutsu Yasuko. Though a fish shop, there is no fish on display. <laughs> Having to replace the sale of fresh fish, the shop's main product is now this. This is gutted and dried herring. It's a traditional food. In remote places far from the sea, such as here, thoroughly dried and preserved fish has always been considered valuable. <laughs> the herrings are marinated with sancho, a Japanese pepper. This dish is a local tradition and is essential to their summer festival. Yasuko began selling the marinated herring as the shop's specialty about 20 years ago. She carefully cuts off the head, tail, and abdomen bones to make eating easier. She uses freshly picked sancho from her garden. Sancho is a type of spice used in Japan and China. Harvested between spring and summer, it is known for its refreshing aroma and unique sharp taste. <laughs> she washes the freshly picked sancho in water from the nearby mountains. <laughs> She places plenty of sancho leaves and berries in the bucket. She then packs the prepared herring tightly and covers them with even more sancho. 
What defines the dish is Yasuko's secret sauce, which combines ingredients such as soy sauce, sugar, and vinegar. This dish even has its own specialized earthenware. Every household in the area is said to have at least one, and local brides bring a pot when getting married. <laughs> this is Yasuko's marinated herring with sancho. It is her pride and joy. The fresh aroma of sancho adds a bit of spiciness. You'll want to come back for more. This is Kiichi, Yasuko's husband. They have been running the business together for almost 60 years. Incredibly enough, Kiichi is also a master bear hunter. The fish shop run by Yasuko and Kiichi was founded by Kiichi's father nearly 90 years ago. Living in the mountains, the locals could only obtain dried fish. As theirs was the only shop offering fresh fish, the business thrived, and the shop became renowned as the Dream Fish Shop. Business was still booming when Yasuko married into the family. She says that this kept her from properly looking after her children. Ah, <laughs> もう<笑><笑> As time passed, and with the emergence of large supermarkets, the town shopping district saw a decrease in business. Customers seeking fresh fish opted for the more modern stores. But their faltering business was saved by this local delicacy, which had become a staple of the summer festival. お祭りにしかみんなどこでも作んないでしょ。いつでも食べたいって。うん。私がやってみる。美味しいって言われて。うん。そんなに美味しいのかなと思いながら。もう嬉しいからね。頑張っちゃって。もう知らないやついない。は
the couple shares a quiet meal together. It is the end of July. The three-day summer festival is about to begin. Four big floats carrying children are drawn around the town. The energetic shouts of the festival participants spur them on. A main attraction of the festival is when the children perform kabuki. Their daughter Sachiko is back home for a visit. <laughs> it's the time of year when liveliness comes back to her town. It's the day Yasuko looks forward to. It's a festival that stretches back 800 years. Their younger son, Kenji, a farmer, has returned. <laughs> Kenji looks forward to the festival and makes his way home every year to attend it. As soon as he's arrived, he puts on a traditional hapi and heads off to the festivities. The sun has set, and it's time for dinner. Three generations of the Akutsu family have gathered. On the table is the dish they've all been waiting for. Once a year, the table usually set for two is surrounded by lively relatives. Oh my ass. <laughs> Even today, marinated herring with Sancho continues to connect and draw families together. <laughs> for those who live in town, and for those who make the long trip back home, Yasuko's wish is to keep making the dish that never fails to bring a smile to so many faces.